Welcome back to our channel. At this video we will learn new Primavera P6 tricks. At the end of this video, you will be able to know how to find and fix open relationships in Primavera P6. This is a totally free tutorial, so don't forget to support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe. Without wasting time, let's start. Let's identify the open ends activities in this Primavera schedule here. The first step is clicking schedule. And then from option, I will click the log file here. And from here you can choose where you want to save your report file. Then we will run our schedule. After running the schedule, we will go to the location we saved our log file. Now let's open it and read the information inside. This file will give you information about your project. So, this is my project name. And here is the number of activities. And how many critical activities? How many relationships? And down here is our area of concern, this section shows you the activities with no predecessor and successors. As an example, the activity name Excavation Shop Drawing Submittal has no predecessor. Considering the Excavation Shop Drawing Submittal, the first activity at our program. So, we can accept leaving it without predecessors. But looking down here for the activities with no successors such as ceramic tiles, this will need an investigation. So, let's copy this activity ID. Then let's go and find this activity by pressing Ctrl and letter F. Okay, this is our activity, and we can see it has no successor. So now let me close some WBS levels, so we can easily find the proper successor for this activity and link it. Now from the bar chart I will drag a link between the ceramic tiles and final finishes closeout. So now we fixed this open end activity. We have many activities such like final finishes closeout. Let me pick this activity of backfilling. So I will copy the activity ID. And now let's find our activity. Let me, let me arrange the bar chart area. So, as you can see this material submittal for backfilling. So, we have to link it to the material review and approval here. So, I will drag a link in the bar chart area to link both activities. And so, you can continue in the same procedure to close all these open ends activities. And you should make sure to fix all open start and open end activities except for the first and last activities in the program. As an example, we can add a new activity and call it project completion date and link these four activities to it to avoid such open end activities. So open end activities are common during program preparation. But it should be fixed before the program final stage. Thanks for watching this video, I wish it was useful to you.